So we're going to be working on our open uh, layer haircut and you're going to see the sectioning is right along the parietal on both sides, right below the crown on the back and then there's a nice little triangle section taken out of the top right at the fringe area. We're going to start this section off by working in the temple. We're going to take a, just a vertical section take the temple out and that's where we're going to cut our first guideline. This guideline is going to come from where do you want the hair to fall on the face frame? Because right now we're going to create this face frame, a uh, nice round shape, really cutting the weight at the, at the face so that it's going to push that weight away from the face. And basically very simple. I'm going to work my way all the way to the back of the head till I run out of hair. So just connecting it using a stationary guide right at the front of the head. working all that hair, combing it through, cutting that line. You can see how those pieces really fall real nice around the face. And I am, I have a nice little elevation on this, so it's not gonna be heavy. And that's really, you know, I think one of the most important things about cutting a face frame is just making sure that you don't cut it too heavy. It's gonna allow your guests a lot easier time when they're blow drying it. So we're gonna grab our guide from the opposite side. So we're just gonna have to eyeball it just a little bit, um, see that length in there. And we're gonna go through with our diagonal back section, um, working almost on a vertical, but slight diagonal back. Elevation, same, and working our way back until we run out of hair in the back of the head. Cutting the hair palm to palm. I'm using a comb with really loose teeth and um, for this type of cut I like to use the looser teeth uh, comb because it's going to give me a little bit less tension and I'm not trying to create um, or pull the hair to stretch it too far so a little bit more organic feel to this haircut bringing that hair around the head It's a really cool um, way to practice uh, working that stationary guide and cutting a face frame. But it's also a really neat trendy haircut and it allows you to kind of have that longer point in the back of the hair and then a lot of really fun uh, layers within the front of the hair. Now we're gonna be connecting the top. So again, we're gonna build that stationary guide. Everything from the top is gonna come towards my body we're gonna cut it just above the head forehead area so you'll notice I was standing in front of the head on that on the first one the reason for that is because I want to be cutting the weight out so I have a guide um, on the inside of my fingers so I always want to be cutting when I'm removing this weight on top I want to cut out the weight so I'm gonna cut from long to short in this part pushing that hair forward and again using that stationary guide now depending on you know the size of your hand you'll see that I'm combing a couple different times so work my way through and then for that last little bit I'll recomb it just to make sure that I keep that consistency as I'm cutting and again with this part just working my way back till I run out of hair again now we're going to let out the fringe. Now I'm going to section the fringe off because I don't want to try to take it all at once. And we're going to cut a wet line, which is going to be, you know, great for us later on. So we're going to take just a little chunk out of the center, hold it down exactly where I want it to be and cut it. It'll be nice and heavy at this point. And then we're gonna connect the sides, you'll see at an angle. So, really wrapping that kind of around the eye, exposing, you know, a little bit of the eye and then right at the cheekbone. 
connecting in that face frame that we cut earlier. We'll let down the, the back part of the fringe. Now we're just gonna hold that up. We're not gonna add a lot of tension to this and we're gonna cut it right in the comb because that's, we don't wanna add too much tension to the fringe because then it's gonna spring back up, especially when we go to blow it dry. So really letting that hair fall where it naturally wants to. Just cleaning that up. Now we got it all smoothed out. We're gonna go through just using the point of our scissor and cleaning up that line. Really, I like this haircut because it's a little trendier, um, has a lot of layering to it, and it's just got a really cool look. Obviously, you could bring this up a little bit, wouldn't have to be covering the eyes, but just going in with the point of that scissor, cleaning up the line. Really has a cool look to it. Gonna work our way around pie sectioning elevation we're just gonna do point cutting just going in you'll see that I start low with my fingers I start the point cut then as I'm point cutting I'm, I'm raising my hand out of it and just so that's just working little pieces throughout that whole section so it's not just you know chunks of hair in one in one line we're working our way all the way through the through the section Because it's a nice round shape to the haircut, working in those pie shaped sections keeps that shape. Just allows us to lighten up the top and create those, you know, a little bit cooler, funky layers in the top. I'm gonna go in and finish it up. Just put in a little wax product in there. Spray it through. You can see the texture and the movement in the haircut. Really, really cool haircut. So I hope you enjoyed our open long layer haircut.